Bitwarden versus LastPass. What's the best password manager? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I will be comparing two very well-known password managers, Bitwarden and LastPass. Let's take a deep dive on comparing these two services. But before we begin, I'd like to give you an FYI about password managers. So password managers store your login information for all the websites you use and help you log into them automatically. They encrypt your password database with a master password. So the master password is the only one you have to remember. LastPass and Bitwarden are two of the best password managers on the market. They're both very secure and provide excellent free plans as well as affordable premium plans for individuals and families. So today, we're going to compare their pricing and their functions, how it feels to actually use Bitwarden and LastPass. And lastly, my thoughts on their differences. To start, let's go and check out their websites. Let's take a look at Bitwarden first. So we can read here, move fast and securely with password manager trusted by millions. So that's their tagline here. And they uh, show here a few uh, features of uh, Bitwarden and they say it's easy, convenient, and secure. And if we look at LastPass over here, it, they say that LastPass is a password management. They also show a few features here like login and go, um, password let's login. You can use your fingerprint to log in, generate strong passwords, uh, store digital records, you can share uh, passwords effortlessly, of course, with uh, people you know. Also have dark web monitoring. They say that it's peace of mind everywhere you go. So you can store all of your logins, for example, Google, Netflix, or Amazon. Let's go to pricing. Both Bitwarden and LastPass offer five pricing plans, which they classified as uh, three for personal use. Here is LastPass's and uh, for Bitwarden, and two for business use. This is LastPass and Bitwarden's. The best part is that you can use both password managers for free, okay, with their free option here. Okay, let's see here. It's best for single users who just wants their passwords organized and secure. As you can see here, they both feature uh, unlimited passwords, you can store unlimited passwords. For Bitwarden, you can uh, use it on unlimited devices. I'm going to um, give you more detail on this. All the core functions and it's always free. For LastPass, you can store unlimited passwords. You get access on one device type, computer or mobile, and you get a 30-day premium trial uh, when you sign up for free. and save and autofill passwords, one-to-one -one sharing, passwordless login, like what I mentioned before, and a password generator. So both of them has a password generator when you sign up for free. Okay, for the premium, both have premium price plans. For LastPass, it's $3 per month and all of the free features over here and you get to access LastPass on all devices, unlike on Bitwarden over here. You can already uh, access uh, Bitwarden on unlimited devices. We can see clearly here who's the winner of the affordability contest because uh, LastPass is $3 per month and Bitwarden is less than $1 per month. So as you can see here, Bitwarden is cheaper. They both have family plans for up to six users if you have like a family of six or less, you can use the family plans. You can, all of you can store uh, your passwords in this plan as well. For Bitwarden, it's $3.33. And for LastPass, it's $4. So again, um, Bitwarden is more affordable. And if you're a business, you can use Teams if you have like a 50 users or less. For LastPass, it's $4 per user per month. And for Bitwarden, it's $3 per user per month. So that's a, a dollar more affordable. But if you have like a, a company, you can use the enterprise uh, plan option for $5 per month for Bitwarden and $6 per month on uh, LastPass. Okay, so let's go ahead 
and sign up and log in to both of these platforms so we could see the user interface. When you sign up for an account, you just need to put an email, but you need to put a very strong password because of course Bitwarden and LastPass are password managers that stores all of your very important data. So it's a no-brainer that you have to secure it as best as you could. So pro tip, I usually go with a phrase that I've memorized and not just one word. It should be at least 12 characters long with a combination of capital and small letters with symbols or numbers. Okay, just a quick note. Uh, Bitwarden will ask you to verify your email when you sign up. Unlike LastPass, you can just uh, sign right in. Okay, we're going to cut to that part of the video after I sign up. After you sign up, you will be given vaults to store your information. You can access them when you log into the website. Okay, so what you can you store on Bitwarden and LastPass? As you can see on Bitwarden, you can store login uh, information. You can store card information like credit cards and debit cards, you can store identity information, and you can store notes, secure notes. For LastPass, you can store the same as a uh, Bitwarden. Uh, you have like an additional address here, and you have more options. For example, you want to store information about a driver's license, a uh, passport, social security number, insurance policy, and so on. So there's a lot more options for LastPass. Okay, let's just try to add a password here and see. You can add the URL of, uh, for example, you're going to add a login information. You can add the URL of the website. You can add a name for the information. You can add a folder. If you're, it's for banking, you can make a folder for that. Uh, you can add the username and a password and of course notes. For example, you need hints. Uh, you have hints for the password. You can store it there. Same as Bitwarden if you add it. Okay. You can put like the type of login information. Put a name. You can also use a password. You can also make a folder. And you can also uh, make notes. Okay. So both LastPass and Bitwarden has browser extensions. So you can install that on your browser. For example, I'm using uh, Brave right now. And you can download them. You can also check if it's compatible to your browser that you're using, but overall, it will make your user experience easier, okay, when you install these extensions. Okay, regarding security, both of them has two-factor authentication that you can turn on in the settings. The main difference for me is Bitwarden is open source and LastPass is not. So what is open source? The difference with open source code is you can verify for yourself whether the code is secure, the code that they use for the password manager. With closed source programs like LastPass, you need to take it on faith that a piece of code that they use works properly. For me, uh, Bitwarden wins that round. Uh, LastPass offers incredibly polished uh, and feature-rich password manager that is easy to use and is just about as secure as Bitwarden though it is not fully open source. So those are the differences that I wanted to share with you guys when it comes to these two platforms, these two password managers. And if you have any questions, just comment down below and thank you so much for watching.